YouTube, Instagram, these days most of us are more camera exposed than ever. DFMA makeup artist Laura has joined us today to show us some easy to copy tricks of the trade on how we can enhance our features to get them camera ready. Laura, before we start, what are the key points to getting our makeup HD ready? So the key thing to keep in mind when applying makeup for photography is that the camera dilutes a lot of makeup. So you just want to go a bit stronger with your makeup application. Also with some bolder colours, it's really going to add some definition to your face. So I went ahead and primed Olivia's face with some Makeup Forever HD primer. And then I went on to use foundation. And the foundation that I used today was from DFMA and that is also their HD foundation. So now I'm just going to be using a little bit of MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to be placing that under underneath Olivia's eyes and that's just really going to help lighten and brighten that area and also conceal any dark circles. So now I'm going to be setting Olivia's face makeup and also the concealer we just put underneath the eyes. And for that I'm going to be taking a DFMA contour palette. So first of all I'm going to be patting that underneath Olivia's eyes just to set that concealer. And it's best to use a yellow based powder just to make sure that the skin is really nice and flawless. To start off, I'm going to be adding a little bit more definition to Olivia's cheekbones. And to do this, I'm just using an angled brush and one of the darker shades in the palette. And what we're going to be doing there, if you just turn to the side for me, is we're just going to be sculpting out those cheekbones. So now we're just going to be adding a little bit of contour and definition around Olivia's jawline and also on the sides of her forehead. And also a good trick as well for making your lips appear more fuller is to just contour slightly underneath the bottom lip and that's just really going to make that bottom lip more pronounced. So next I'm going to be highlighting and the highlighter that I'm going to be using today is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the colour beige and I'm just going to be placing that on Olivia's cheekbones. So next off we're going to be putting a little bit of powder on Olivia's eyebrows. So I'm just going to be taking a mixture of a couple of shades here just to match her natural hair colour. So the next up I'm going to be doing Olivia's eyes. So I'm just going to be taking a light dusting of this lilac -y tone here and I'm just going to be placing that all over Olivia's eyelids. Next one I'm going to be adding a little bit more definition into Olivia's crease. So if you close your eyes and I'm just going to be adding that in the socket area and that's just going to add a little bit more definition to the whole look. So any darker tone is really going to help add more definition to your crease um, and therefore make your eyes appear more larger. So next off I'm going to be adding a little bit more definition to Olivia's lower lash line. So I'm just going to be taking a flat brush and with a darker shade I'm just going to be placing that on the lower lash line. So you want to avoid black eyeliner in the waterline because if you're going to be using that that's just really going to close up the eye. So now we're just going to be adding a little bit of black mascara. So now I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick again and I'm just going to be highlighting the inner corners of her eye. And that's just really going to make her eyes stand out more and also make them look bigger. So next off I'm going to be using blusher and I'm just going to be taking this Pinky Tone by MAC. I'm just going to be placing that on the apples of Olivia's cheeks and also brushing it up towards the cheekbones. So next one, I'm going to be using a lip primer. So I'm just going to be adding this to Olivia's lips and that's just going to mute down her natural pigmentation so that when we go to apply lipstick, um, you get the intensity of the lip colour coming through. So next off, we're going to be putting on lipstick and the shades that I'm going to be using today um, is this nude shade and also this pinky shade. So, and I really think that's going to complement the eye colour that we've got going on. So there we go, we're done. You are now HD ready. Do you want to see the final result? Yeah, let's see. Oh wow, that's so cool. I really think my eyes are a lot bigger now mm -hmm. and you can really see the definition of the cheekbones so much more. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, let's put it to the test. Shall we take a selfie? Definitely. For more beauty videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mode Stories UK. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.